Alrighty then. This morning, uh, this video is about the uh, Perfect Prime IR004. Thermal imaging camera. This is kind of a, a clone of the FLIR thermal imaging cameras. This one's uh, slightly better quality than some of the other cheap Chineseium knockoffs. I'm just gonna kind of do a, a quick rundown on its features and uh, how it works. Uh, comes with a carrying case that uses Velcro to hold it shut. Uh, Velcro. <laughs> oh, there it is. Um, let's zoom in on this. There's a uh, So, this is uh, the thermal imaging part of it. This is a uh, just normal daylight camera, and this is an infrared, I'm sorry, not infrared. This is just an LED for lighting things up. <clears throat> uh, this trigger here is for taking pictures. <clears throat> this thing does not take video, at least as far as I can tell. Uh, this particular model runs off of AA batteries. I chose the AA batteries because it it's easier to uh, change the batteries and uh, if you wanted you can get rechargeables. On the bottom of it it has a tripod mount, standard quarter twenty thread. Um, we have a display that is, the resolution is 220 by 160. Uh, this thing can view or show temperatures in the range of minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 572 degrees Fahrenheit and minus 20 degrees Celsius to 300 degrees Celsius. Um, turning it on is done by pressing this button until it comes on. There's a little green bar that goes across. There is one issue I have found with this camera, and I don't know if it's on all of them, is that the camera will get to about that spot and just sit there. It won't go any further. Um, when that happens, you just hold the power button down until it goes off and then turn it on again. Usually it'll come up. Um, let's see here if we can do something about this glare. through some of the menu items. Uh, if you have stored images on here, this will give you a list you can scroll through and select. Um, as I said again, this doesn't support video. At least if it does, I haven't found any way of doing it. Uh, the, there is a setting for the color palette. Uh, you can select uh, they're labeled spectra iron cool white and black uh, white is items that are hot are white items that are cool are black and black is the opposite hot is black cool is white um,
emissivity. Uh, the way what this is is uh, it mostly has to do with uh, the type of items you will be trying to image and how well it will be able to get the um, tell you the temperature based on uh, its readings. Uh, for most applications, Matt, uh, I've, I've messed around with this and I, I really couldn't get it to read too much differently. <clears throat> that could be me. Settings, we have an auto shutdown which is uh, max 20 minutes, 5 minutes, or no shutdown. Intensity, which I believe is the screen brightness. Language, you have a choice of English or Chinese, the only two languages in the world. Temperature units, Celsius or freedom. <clears throat> Time for I'm at 24 hours or children. can set the time, date and year and all that. This turns on the spot which is used to show you where it's measuring. And this shows the version number. As far as I can tell there's no way to upgrade any firmware in this. And uh, turning the menu on to turn it off you press menu again. When you go to take a picture, you press the button, this pops up and asks you to, if you want to store photos. Uh, I haven't used this too much. It appears that if you uh, just press the button again, it stores it. If you press menu or anything else, it does not. Um, pressing the button up turns on this bottom bar. Pressing it again turns it off. Uh, one of the things it'll do, which it's not doing at this moment, or it's not something you can easily tell, there's a green spot over here and I don't see a red one. Basically, when you're imaging things, that it will show you wherever the spot is, that's what temperature you're reading. And you'll see a green spot and a red spot. And the green one is the device telling you what the coldest object it's looking at and the red spot is what the hottest object you're looking at. Uh, you notice it says it's 64.5 degrees Fahrenheit. I am pretty much certain that it is not that temperature. Uh, this is not that temperature. Um, you can mess with the emissivity. I don't know if there's any way to calibrate this. Um, but I didn't really buy this for accuracy. I bought it mostly to be able to identify hot spots in electronics and other things. So, uh, with all that being said, we will uh, attempt to go out and uh, I'll try to videotape or some things so you can get an idea of what stuff looks like. Okay, so this is a view of my cluttered workbench and so we'll bring in the thermal imager and let's see if we're focusing do some zooming in and you can see that uh, it's picking up the light and my camera the uh, power supply I've got up there, the car stereo, and you'll notice that uh, there's a red dot that's on the 
thermal imager, I'm sorry, on the that little monitor. So you look up here, there's a little monitor. And if you can see, there's a little red, there's a red spot here that keeps looking for the hottest object. And then there's one that's looking for the coldest object. So if we move the red and white together, we get a temperature reading of the monitor. So now I'm going to change the color palette to something that looks more like FLIR. And you'll see that uh, it changes to a black and white image. Um, if I hit the uh, left arrow and then cycle through it, it will start bringing up, it'll start putting together a, a standard image and the infrared. This helps in identifying what you're looking at, especially if it's in a dark room. So it goes to pure infrared all the way back to infrared off. So we can take a picture and uh, I'll upload some of these pictures into the video. Um, so now I'm going to move this to the outside. Look outside. <clears throat> okay, we're uh, looking outside, looking in the general direction of my shed. And let's see if we can get this in here. And hopefully it's in focus. And once again, anything white is hot and black is cool. Um, Scroll over here to those are some grapevines. We'll switch to the color palette. And so we're getting a temperature reading on the shed of 100, 103, it shows the hottest is up on the roof. So there you go. Um, the uh, Perfect Prime IR0004. Later.